According to the computer models at Armstrong Economics the U.S. will be affected by the worldwide recession starting in 2020. No question about it, we are on the cusp of an economic recession. Just the normal business cycle tells us that. In fact, I even read where Jim Cramer was whining again on CNBC where he said, I think we could be on the verge of a significant slowdown in the U.S. economy if something doesn't change soon. I suppose that's code word for some sort of Fed intervention. Probably his Wall Street buddies are putting him up to making these comments. Recession countdown begins, as transportation and manufacturing recession is developing, heavy-duty truck orders collapse, production slashed, and the cancellation orders soar. Deutsche Bank down to $6.78 and U.S. 10-year yield plummeting to below 6%, 30-year yield nears record low, it was 3.2% last November. The next crisis will be here by Christmas if Trump doesn't stop tariff fight, fire up QE4 and drop rates by 1% this year. This inversion is unlike any other in history because we have never had extended buying of all government securities by central banks for so long, negative yields in the eurozone, and a massive realignment of trade flows to counter the economic and geopolitical hegemony of a rancid, oppressive regime in China. Regardless of whether people want to admit it or not, the economy is headed for a recession in the not-too-distant future. I was at the mall today. The parking lot was mostly empty because the stores are closing. It appears the retail industry in America is crashing hard. The American consumer is about tapped out. Credit is above what it was in 2008. A big percentage are skipping vacations due to a lack of funds. They are totally leveraged due to constant partaking of loans due to near zero interest. The American consumer won't save us this time as they are gasping for breath. Trump's tax cuts were poorly timed per several economists who commented on the subject. Trump cut taxes when the economy was doing well, but he should have waited until the economy started to slow or in recession and then cut taxes to help stimulate the economy. Interest rates are still very low so I am not sure how much they can, will lower rates. No doubt, we will be reading more tweets soon from Trump complaining because the Fed has messed up his economy. The Fed is definitely going to be Trump's scapegoat when this economy goes to hell. Once money is offered at negative rates it means the money has no investment value. That means if you have excess money you need to get it into something else. That's why it goes into stocks and high-priced apartments. They suppress the gold price because once money goes there it never comes back. The stock market is all that Trump cares about. The stock market has no basis in economic reality. There are forces in motion that cannot be stopped, so when the reckoning begins, do not say there were nobody warning about what's about to be unleashed against the American people. The degree to which folks will avoid acknowledging what is right in front of their eyes is amazing. Can asset prices continue to be artificially elevated? If they can't, then the worst depression in history will ensue. The gravity of the situation is still not realized. Just a recession is not going to happen. We are looking at the possible collapse to the system. Trumpian prosperity is here for all to enjoy. Politicians, bankers and corporate execs have worked together to run the economy into the ground for short-term gain and now the proverbial chickens are coming home to roost. They cannot finance their way out of the massive debt they created by printing fiat into infinity. One dollar is worth approximately 0.09 cents or less today due to inflation. It must be backed by tangible goods in order for its strength to return, but it seems the bankers are purposely setting us up for the fall because they intend to replace the dollar with a world currency, just another usury scam that will enable them to parasite off all productive people. There has been a recession, depression going on since 2008 that has been papered over with massive amounts of government debt. As long as you are a downstream beneficiary of government spending you are doing fine. The rest of the working population that does not suck off of Uncle Sam's tit is barely hanging on. From green shoots to the greatest economy ever, the psychopaths in charge are flat out lying. Once they have bled the host system dry they will move on, feeling not an ounce of remorse for the terrible damage they have done. 
it's been negative growth for almost every quarter of this century, once you subtract the deficit from GDP. We have had negative growth since 2001 when the real, non-politically massaged numbers are used. We've been in a constant recession since the late 90s. For 90% of the population, no one will know the difference if we are officially in one. It would just be like any other day. Seems like a good day to cut some firewood and prepare for winter. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.